are in the gym in Southern Park, New Mexico again. Coming to you live. This is the 343 Commitment and still counting. 110 floor Memorial Stair Climb for the ladder 25. Manhattan's part of the west side. Firefighter Joseph Rivelli Jr. Our brother is housed with Division 3 and Collapse Rescue 1 at that station. Yosemite Sam is who's on the patch. So we're taking him up to finish his footsteps in the second tower from all the data that I was able to read prior to taking this climb. This climb is dedicated to his sister Donna, his wife Cheryl, his uh, daughter Felicia, and son Christopher. Our brother was 43 on 9-11 and gave 18 years of service to the city of New York and citizens. From a family of civil service with both fire and police involvement, the Ravelli family was known for civil service. So we have seven total verticals, goes up to the 101st floor, and then nine floors after that, this climb is complete. This is his climb with honor and respect given for the sacrifice made so that others could live. And we're just about to kick off that first vertical. So, Joseph Ravelli, firefighter with Ladder 25, was known to have wanted to be a firefighter since he was a child. It said that he would have kids around the neighborhood act like there was a fire, that uh, he would go provide the rescue. It said that he had a photograph of Donna, his sister, pushing him in a little fire truck. On 9-11, he responded with the pride of the west side, ladder 25. And from what I read, he was in the elevator. Tower two headed up to the 40th floor when the collapse occurred. This 110 floors is to carry our brother symbolically beside me right now to the top 110 symbolic top of the towers to finish their journey take care of all of their footsteps this is why we climb so that 19 years later we show we still remember there will not just be a name on a wall or a picture each has a story that will be told Part of the greatest rescue effort in the United States history on the back of the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil. We will never forget, but instead we will always remember. So, as I said before, this is dedicated to Joseph's wife, Cheryl and his stepchildren Felicia and Christopher. Our brother used to actually have a nickname of Coach Joe because he coached the uh, Inwood Buccaneers football. Additionally, our brother was about two years away from retirement. As I said, gave it 18 years. Cheryl and Joe and the family were going to move to Florida where Joe Rivelli had been studying and taking classes for the ability to become a commercial pilot. He was always working on the flight simulator and taking flight classes. Additionally, our brother had a love for computers, building them from scratch, 
and the stocks and finance markets. For the pride of the West Side, Yosemite Sam, ladder 25. We're making this journey all the way to the top for his sister Donna and his love for her. Your brother will never be forgotten. Your husband and father will never be forgotten. This climb is dedicated to the FDNY, often on the line. To the front of the west side, ladder 25. Division three, collapse rescue one. Your brother's taking his vertical right now, finishing his footsteps. Going to the top. Again, this is why we climb. So that those left behind, his family, will know that he will never be forgotten. This year coming very soon in a few more months is the 20th anniversary. We still remember. We're keeping our promise and our commitment to never forget. And right now this is for firefighter Joseph Rebelli Jr. Part of the West Side, Ladder 25. One of the first assignments on 9-11 because of the proximity to the towers. Ladder 25 went to work. And our brother was last known to be in the elevator going towards that 40th floor in Tower 2. Taking him up right now to give honor and respect for the valor, bravery, and heroism that was shown by our brothers. This is his climb. The 283rd climb of this commitment with 63 correction down to 60 brothers left to carry on the initial 343 commitment prior to the Ansel County, those who worked the pile on ground zero for days, weeks, and months and succumbed to 9-11 illness and cancers prior to them taking their climbs. This is the 343 Commitment, and still counting, coming to you live from Southern Park, New Mexico, in the gym. Firefighter Joseph Ravelli, Jr., part of the West Side, Ladder 25. How's there with Division 3 and Collapse Rescue 1? Will never be forgotten. Taking him up as we speak. Going to that 110th floor with honor and respect given. This is why we climb to keep their memories alive, to keep their stories in the forefront. And our brother, as I said before, was 43 years old. On 9 11, he gave 18 years of service to the citizens of New York. Had two more years before he was going to retire that he wanted to finish. And then he was going to go to Florida and become a commercial airline pilot. He had been working on flight simulators and uh, flight school. In the meanwhile, on uh, computers that he built from scratch. He will never be forgotten. My brother loved his family, his wife, again dedicated to his sister Donna, 
his wife Cheryl, the children, uh, Felicia, and Christopher. It said that uh, anyone he wanted to date his daughter would have to go through him. And uh, that he was a coach with the Sun Sports. As I said before, his name, he had a nickname of Coach Joe, where he coached the Inland Buccaneers football for the young kids. So right now, this is his story, his climb, with honor and respect, taking him to the 110th floor. Fourth climb of this tour so far on this 96 hour ship. Okay, that's station two. We're good. Engine 2 just got the hit, not us, so we're good. So, back to what I was saying. This climb is dedicated to firefighter Joseph Rivelli Jr. And uh, taking him up from the elevator that he was in, going to the 40th floor, we're taking him all the way to the 110th floor to finish his journey to the top of the towers as the 282 brothers that have already gone before him. This is for the pride of the west side, Yosemite Sam with ladder 25, housed with division three and collapse rescue one. So continuing those steps towards the next floor to reach the top. So for his wife, Cheryl, and kids, Felicia and Christopher, your husband and father, his story will live on. He will never be forgotten. 19 years and we still remember. We will never forget ever the sacrifices bravery and heroism and valor that was shown as part of the greatest rescue effort in the United States history where up to 25,000 were saved. This is the 343 commitment and still counting. 110th floor Memorial Stair Climb for firefighter Joseph Rivelli Jr. Ladder 25. Last known position, Tower 2 going up an elevator to the 40th floor. Initial response to the World Trade Center, 9-11, 2001. <sighs> Taking him up. As I said before, in the previous part of this, he was born to be a firefighter. When he was younger, he'd actually have his neighborhood kids act like there was an incident and a fire and he would actually go respond and uh, take care of it so this was in his blood the Ruggieri family is known I mean a correction Rivelli family is known for uh, uh, being a family of civil service service to the community in both fire and police and our brother Firefighter Joseph Rivelli Jr. gave 18 years of service to the citizens of New York. Wanted to go to 20 and then was going to retire with Cheryl and the family and move to Florida where he was looking at becoming a commercial airline pilot after his time with the FDNY. Our brother had been taking flight classes and uh, working on flight simulators prior to 9-11. Our brother was 43 years old and again gave 18 years of service. The 
for Joseph Rebelli Jr. Firefighter, ladder 25. We climb. We finish his footsteps as those who've gone before us. My brother was also heavily involved in financial stocks in the finance market. According to what was said, he was also very uh, technically savvy. He was able to take a blank and build a computer out of nothing. And it said that he actually had computers that he had built, which he was working on for his flight simulator. All this information is memorized prior to taking this climb. So if something skews a little bit, I apologize, but it's all from memory. As I said before, our, our brother was a husband and father to Felicia and Christopher Ruggieri, which were his stepkids, but he treated them just like they were his own. And uh, he actually was a coach for the Inland Buccaneers, which was a little football team. So they called him Coach Joe on that. So we're now at the uh, over halfway mark of this climb. Three verticals left and uh, we'll be to the 101st floor. For our brother, Firefighter Joseph Ravelli Jr. off of ladder 25, part of the west side. Yosemite Sam, carrying him up. This is now the fourth climb in the four days I've been on duty. So now we're working towards a 440th floor on completion. I might be able to get one more brother to the top before I go home tomorrow. This is why we climb, to carry their stories, to finish their footsteps. Coming to you live from the gym in Soma Park, New Mexico. This is the 343 commitment. And still counting. 110th floor Memorial Star Climb for our brother, firefighter Joseph Ruelli Jr. of Ladder 25. Was in the search and rescue section on 9-11. Last place seen was an elevator headed to the 40th floor of Tower 2. Part of the initial assignment, Ladder 25 got there, 9-11, and got to work as part of the greatest rescue effort in U.S. history. We're up to 25,000. We're saved because the bravery, valor, and heroism that was shown. This is why we climb to finish their footsteps all the way to the top. Symbolically, he's right here with me, carrying him up to the top of the tower. Taking him up, coming up on that second to last vertical now on this 110th floor Memorial Star Climb. The 200 83rd on route to completion with 60 brothers left to be carried for their climb all the way symbolically to the top of the towers. For ladder 25 is part of the west side, Yosemite Sam, housed with Division 3 and Collapse Rescue 1. Dedicated to you all, the FDNY up and on the line and dedicating this to our country for the promise you made to never forget. 19 years later, we haven't forgotten. 20 years later, we will never forget. Their stories will be told. Their memories honored. It's just the way it is.
18 years of service. For our brother to the citizen of New York. 18 years. Wanted to go towards that 20 prior to 9-11. Afterwards, he was going to become a commercial airline pilot. Had been working on classes and working on his flight simulator to be able to get to his pilot's license. On completion of his tour for his 20 years with the FDNY, our brother responded as 43 years old on 9-11. 2001 up with ladder 25 to the 70 sound on the part of the west side. Went to work as soon as they got there. My brother was last seen in tower two in the elevator, making that trek to the 40th floor to be part of the rescue effort. Where upwards of 25,000 were saved because of the efforts given and the sacrifices made so that others could live. Dedicated to his sister Donna, who had said he never forgot her birthday, who I believe they were 11 months apart. And they used to play firefighters and cops when they were younger. And she had a picture of him being pushed in a little fire engine by her. Taking him up all the way symbolically to reach that 110th floor. Going there now with the honor and respect given and deserved. Clear out the last little bit of condensation prior to hitting that last vertical for our brother, Joseph Rebelli Jr. Prior to the west side, Yosemite Sam, the ladder 25, housed with Division 3 Collapse Rescue 1. Taking him up. Coming up on that last and final vertical. Upon completion, we get to that 101st floor. That's only Nine floors after that to reach that symbolic finish line. The top of the tower is the 110th floor where all of our 343 brothers are carried at every 9-11 climb and memorial climb around the U.S. and abroad. This is his individual climb with me right now. The 343 commitment, the initial commitment given prior to taking the Ansel counting those who worked the pile at ground zero for days, weeks, and months until the operation was declared complete for those that FDNY that succumbed to 9 11 illness and cancer on completion of the initial 343. I'll carry as many as I can, God willing in their own climbs to give honor and respect as we go vertical. Coming up on now the last of the seven verticals to reach that 101st floor prior to the 110. Dedicated to the FDNY off and on the line, to the part of the west side, ladder 25, housed with Division 3, Collapse Rescue 1, to his sister Donna, his wife Cheryl, 
and his children, Alicia and Christopher. Your brother, husband and father will never be forgotten. This is why we climb, to tell their stories, to keep their memories alive. This climb finishes the fourth brother taken up on this 96 hour tour. Going on 440 floors now over this past four days. We're almost to that finish of this last vertical. Nine floors left after this and our brother firefighter Joseph Pritchett Jr. will reach the top. Ah. All right. Now we have that 101st floor. As we finish the last floors for our brother, firefighter Joseph Rebelli Jr. from 125, finishing his footsteps to the 110th floor of the second tower, where they were at working in search and rescue as part of the greatest rescue efforts in U.S. history, where up to 25,000 were saved because of the bravery, valor, and heroism that was shown. This is his climb to give honor and respect as we climb to the top, symbolically on my side right now, taking the climb with me. We're almost there. A few more floors, and we're there. Taking him up for his wife, Cheryl, and children, Felicia and Christopher, his sister, Donna, and the FBNY off and on the line, dedicated to Ladder 25, part of the west side, Yosemite Sam. And uh, Division 3 Collapse Rescue 1. Almost there. For his 18 years of service to the citizens of New York, we climb. We finish his footsteps all the way to that very last step. to the 110th floor to our brother, firefighter, Joseph Rivelli Jr., ladder 25. Rest easy, brother. We'll take it from here.